This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, Brakdam, to your Zakwanian, Wakim, Wakwaf, you elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and the election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the beloved Son of the Lord and our Savior. And our King Yahweh Shah HaMashiach in these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This brother Pshai, Ba'an Yahshua, let this be a quick lesson through the spirit of Papi HaBashim HaShai. On Elon Musk, Neuralink is six months away from implanting BCIs in the masses. Biblical prophecy, man. Okay, that's the fulfillment, that's the fulfillment of Revelation 13 chapter verse 16. All right, and go to the forehead. And brothers broke this down, start with the elders and apostles on down. Plenty of times through the spirit, what that's going into, okay, which I'm going to read it, you know, I'll break it down through the spirit as well, and this is more prophecy, you know, popping off, this will come to pass very soon, and we understand that, oh, hell about to break loose, okay, so they planning a, I'm going to read this article, some of the titles of these articles are quick, because, you know, other brothers are lessons going into it as well, all right, so you be talking quick, you know, kind of like a news report update, because um, Ellen Musk had his, um, show and tell november 30th which was you know a few days back probably a day or two ago november 30th right show and tell and um he basically was saying it you know people that was you know paraplegic you know different other you know um things wrong with their brain the the, the neural system all right the, no, no, the neurological system whatever the case may be that um that's his his whole goal and aim is so people could be able to um do things with just using their mind all right with a brain you know chip within a head they could use a mind to control their comp their smartphones computers so on and so forth a lot of technology with just their brain all right and he showed the monkey playing you know ping pong or whatever with his, with his just his brain okay so we understand the time we in man we in a time of you know transhumanism you know what i'm saying all these different things are coming to pass as we speak so only we have to do is endure in his faith and keep pushing his word out and warning the sheep of the fulfillment of these prophecies man and warn him not to take it because you know I'm going to get the precepts on those that, you know, get down with this, you know, this beast system. Because this is a part of that system that they're setting up because the globalist elites, they want everyone, you know, um, um, CHIP, you know, um, and connected to a global computer system. All right. And if they able to have it where people that, you know, couldn't walk, could walk again, you know, um, people that couldn't um, do certain things because, they you know, their um, elements within their brain. And they're able to do it now. That's all left hand miracles written about in the book of the Thessalonians, the um, second chapter, which I'm going to get that as well. All right. So Ellen Musk expects Neuralink's brain CHIP to begin human trials in six months. All right. So he had a quick show and tell. And he's saying, listen, about in six months, you know what I'm saying? We ready for um, the human trials. So we can put it inside people, all right, in the masses. All right. Ellen Musk says Neuralink is about six months from human trials. All right. Ellen is a must confident Neuralink can put chips into human brains in six months. All right. I probably should never said that. All right. You know, the CHIP word because they've been taking the videos down. OK, so it says November 30 route is and Ellen Musk said on Wednesday he expects a wireless brain CHIP developed by his company Neuralink, which you broke that word down plenty of times as well. Neural goes into your nerves. OK, your nervous system and link because they want to link it to technology. All right, link it to artificial intelligence. All right, link it to the computer. All right, it says to begin human clinical trials in six months. All right, you know, Easter with his numbers, his left in numerology, he always deal with that number six. It says after the company missed earlier timelines set by him. All right, so he kept pushing it back. And I was all asked the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So, with this is another prophecy. It's so much happening simultaneously, man. You got upwards of the people going on over there in China. You got zombie viruses thawing out as we speak <laughs> okay you got uh all type of things that's happening around the world man prophecy just kicking left and right man okay race wars and riots and world war three rumors of war all right a lot of judgments taking place so we know something about to go down man you know very very soon for them to fully usher in the new world order agenda as we read on this article it says the company is developing brain chip interfaces that it says could help disabled patients to move and communicate again. 
with must add in that's left hand miracles okay um with must add in on wednesday it will also target restoring vision okay <laughs> they're trying to do everything i love yahweh shy was doing on the right hand side but they're trying to do it on the left hand side all right i love yahweh shy was you know uh raising the lane those that couldn't walk okay healing the blind those that couldn't see all right the dumb those that couldn't speak he was doing all these things man all right and they trying to do it on the left hand side through technology all right it says that's why the lord said you take this thing man you, you're not making it man there's no repentance for taking the, the crogma of the beast and this is part of that it's the forehead part all right it says based in the san francisco bay area and austin texas Neuralink has and has in recent years been conducting tests on animals as it sees approval from the u.s food and drug administration fda to begin clinical trials in people okay so once the fda approve it which they will because you know it's part of the agenda to begin clinical trials in people man so they're gonna start and they showed us in that movie implanted it was like a, a trial run with a new you know development of technology putting a chip in your brain and what happened that shit turned her to an assassin man Fucking with her mind, man. Making her kill people, all type of shit. All right, so this is gonna bug people out. All right. It says we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. All right, so that's when testing it in, you know, in monkeys, pigs, you know. Must said during a, um, a much awaited public update on the device, speaking to a crowd of select invitees in a presentation at Neuralink headquarters that latest nearly. Lasted nearly three hours. Must emphasize that the speed at, at which the company is developing is device. Now I know they want to add right quick. You know a lot of things been you know popping out about what's about to happen in 2023. How's gonna be a year from hell? All right, a lot of drought, a lot of famine. I forgot to mention that too. Inflation is going on right now. Food prices going up. All type of things just happening around the world right now. Right, but in 2023, you know, so six months from now would be yeah, December, January, February, March, April, May. How interesting May Day. Okay. Six months from now is May Day, man. Because I believe you said it's November what, 30th. All right, let me see something just very quick. Um, so you had November 30th, then December. Yo, <laughs> so the month of December makes one month. The month of January makes two months. February 3, March 4, April 5, May. Six months. And that's what? May Day. And we know what happened in May 1776, the, um, the establishment of the Illuminati. Okay, so all of this ties, you know, together. You know, it just is no things ain't done by coincidence. Things are made to happen. All right, Esau does a left in numerology, so why, why? That's why he kept pushing it back. Let's read on. It says, um, the pro, this is what Elama said. It says the progress at first, particularly at as as it applies to humans, will seem perhaps um, agonizingly slow. But we are doing all of those things to bring it to scale in parallel. He added, so in theory, progress should be exponential. All right. It says the FDA said it cannot com comment on the status or the existence of any potential product applications. The first two human applications targeted by the Neuralink device will be in restoring vision and enabling movement of muscles, and people cannot do so, as Musk said. Even if someone has never, even if someone has never had vision ever, like they were born blind, we believe we can still restore vision he said they, they tried to do some left hand miracles it says the event was originally planned for october 31st the high high wicked day you know hella day for the elites right but must postponed it just days before without giving a reason and we know his reason because he wanted to, wanted to line up with uh mayday because you saw his halloween costume when he was doing on october 31st dressing up in satanic you know outfits right it says Neuralink's late last public presentation more than a year ago involved a monkey with a brain CHIP that played a computer game by thinking alone. All right, now I, you brothers, I could put this article in the description box below, but let's get some precepts. I'll make this, you know, quick, straight to the point. So I started with Habakkuk, third, second chapter. I'm starting with verse one now. It says, I will stand upon my watch. This is a prophet Habakkuk, right? And set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I'm approving or watch me in these last days. The prophets. Okay, we're supposed to watch on our watchtower spiritually and look out for the sword, danger, plagues, pestilences, and warn the people. All right. So we see these prophecies coming to pass, and now we have to warn the people, man. Let's read on. And the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run. That read it for now. I'm gonna get a precept on that right quick. Plain. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus 39 and 24 as his ways are plain unto the holy 
So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So the wicked not going to understand. Okay, let's get that piece up real quick. If I understand me, understand this prophecy. Okay, because we got a lot of people that just don't think it is what it is. They're going to end up taking this thing because they're not teaching what it is. This is Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. It's going to the elect. And the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So the wise are going to understand these prophecies are the elect of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, man. So like I read in Habakkuk, the second chapter, Habakkuk 2 and 1, 2 and 2, it says, And the Lord answered me, said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables, that he may run and read it. So it's, you know, it's easy to understand what the vision going into, man. Because he blessed a certain, you know, men with the Rechak Wadash, the Holy Spirit, to be able to understand the Holy Scriptures, man. And the prophecy is written in it. The book of Daniel, Revelation, Isaiah, Jeremiah, okay? It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So this fulfillment of Revelation 13, verse 16, for an appointed time, and we see it approaching very, very soon. All right? So we're approaching at an appointed time. But at the end, and we at the end right now, it shall speak, and it's speaking. We see it happening right now. Elon Musk, six months from now, you know, brain chips and human brains, okay? It says, and not lie. So the prophecy is not going to lie. The most high is a man that he should not lie. His word not going to turn into a void. He's going to accomplish that which he please. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. So though it may seem like it's taking long to happen, wait for it. Be patient. And patience possesses your souls. You got to suffer. That's what patience means. That's why you're in the hospital, you know, and as a patient. Because you're suffering as you wait to get, you know, checked up by the doctor. If you don't. Because it will surely come. It will surely come. This prophecy will come to pass and will come very soon. Right? According to current events, you see it happening around, you, around the world. If you just on your watch and looking out for it, being circumspect. It says... It will not tarry, so it's not going to tarry, man. Now I'm going to get a precept of Thessalonians going to you know where they mentioned about the uh, the Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, all right? Because it was mentioning about you know just the left hand miracles, man. I'm going to start at verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except they come a falling away first. We fought from our heritage, our nationality, but now we got, got it back after three days and a half. Start our, our, our bivins on down, right? And that man of sin, Esau Edom, be revealed, the son of perdition. Destruction, okay, because he's the one that's in rulership and he's going to get destroyed his kingdom before Jacob's east was the end of the world and Jacob's beginning with that follows as we don't who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, okay, so or or that is worshipped, so he wants to be worshipped, man, all right. And um, the proof of that is when you go to the law, the master and the servant, all right, once once the the servant you know did his time serving his master, um, he's free to go, right. And I'm just roughly paraphrasing his law, where right? he's free to go. And basically, if he bear children and a wife within a master's house, that stays with the master, but he still got to go, if I'm not mistaken. Then if he says, no, I love my wife, I love my children, I want to stay with my master here, he has to get branded with it all, okay, in his ear, all right, to say that's my master for life, man. I'm going to stay with him for life. I love my wife, I love my children, I want to be my master for life. What you saw is doing is a digital all. All right, Pastor Hart is bringing this down through the spirit, man. It's a digital all, okay? So that's why all those that have family, life, comfortability here in America, Babylon the Great, and they trust in the system, they're going to be like, I want to stay here forever, man. All right? I want to, you know, have food, raiment, clothes, all these different things. Water, you know, wine, strong drink, movie theaters, whatever I can. Uh, I want to own nothing to be happy. I want to just have this augment reality type vibe, you know? So I'll take it, man. I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm going to have my wife and my children. We're all going to, you know, we're going to serve you, Esau. Okay, that's what majority of the Israelites will do. The two-thirds, man. Okay, a lot of them are going to take it. Some of them are going to die in horrific ways. But a lot of them are going to give into the beast system. Because they love it here in America, man. That's what the Lord said to rise and depart. But this is not your rest. So we're spiritually detached from this place. So we're not looking to have a kingdom here. Looking to be under Esau forever. We, we are servants, okay? All right? We're slaves. We're in captivity. All right? Because, you know, it says, or that is worship. So he wants to be worshipped. That's also in second Earth, the 16th chapter, man. You know, those that consented to him shall be had in derision. Matter of fact, let me read that right quick and move back to this. Second Earth, 16, and verse, uh, get you to point 60, uh, uh, one. 68, Slaki. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. All right? So they're going to feed you, being idle. They're going to isolate you. You're going to be idle. All right? They're going to offer things that's offered unto idols, which is Esau, Edom. He's an idol. 
He wants to be God. He wants to be worshipped. So that's, that's idolatry. That's, uh, uh, so you take the, uh, the CHIP, that's idolatry. That's why you can't get forgiven for that, man. The Lord, all right, bet. You took that in your, in your head and your hand or wherever you took it at. Okay? That means you said this man is your master for life, man. So now I'm going to ice you with your master. Okay? And it says, and they that consented to them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot, man. Ultimately destroyed. All right? Ultimately. Because this man, you can't trust this devil. So a lot of people are going to take it and still get this. They're going to get deceived, man. They still going to, you know. <laughs> Esau's a, he deceptive, man, like he did with the Vanessa. You know, he said this thing, you know, it don't really cure the thing, but take it to be safe. All this bullshit. And people fell for it. He deceived them. Now people dropping dead. So those that consented to him should be had in derision, tried under, and, um, had in derision and a reproach and tried underfoot. So you, what about the, the Karagma, the beast, man? You take that, you, that's your ass, man. That's what we say, what? Those that take it are going to have a grievous sword. They're going to hit the missiles. They're going to hit with the missiles, man. You know, and also just, you know, that our bodies are not supposed to merge and mix with technology, man. Okay, that's all wickedness. It's all different. Apostle Paul broke it down. There's different kinds of flesh. All right, flesh of birds, flesh, you know, us, you know, is we can't mix it with AI. All right? And we know the prophecy, how the scripture going to newly created creatures, you know, these different robots and artificial intelligence, you know what I'm saying? That literally thinking and all type of weird shit, like that one video where that robot, like he woke up and he was like amazed, like what the fuck is this, you know? Like he had a consciousness, it was crazy. Cause it's spurs within everything, man. All right, so they want to merge you with that. They want to put a, a CHIP in your brain. They're going to just control you, you know? Like the old, you know, children cartoon movie, SpongeBob, you know what I'm saying? You had Plankton and he had everyone, he deceived everybody. One, he stole the formula. They need to see everyone to wear um he said listen it comes free with a bucket helmet and everyone ran to that bucket helmet because they had he had the crabby patties all right so you want comfortability they want they was gluttonous they wanted to just eat and the shit and do bullshit so they took the chum bucket hat then he pressed the button and all of them became his slaves man all right that's what you're gonna do you want you want your shake shacks he offered shake shacks for the vanessa too we can't forget about that bribes all right so you want comfortability in this world okay you want to not be an outcast you want to buy and sell and have your business and be able to purchase things which is new currency you have to take this man and all right man i guess it's harmless you know just in my hand i don't think it can really do nothing it's just my forehead i should be fine next you know you're a mindless zombie next you know they, they sending thoughts into your brain all right to kill one another to kill people to kill yourself okay all type of shit all right back to this in the second chapter verse four who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called god or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, man. So you have the same spirit of interest epiphanies, man. All right? And the temple nowadays is the the elect. So you're going to try to, you know, sack this temple, but you're going to fail miserably, man, because none of the elect shall fall. All right? No one can deceive the elect if it were possible, to, you know? But it's not possible. Let's read verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet yeah, with you, I told you these things. This is um, the Apostle Paul speaking to the church in Thessalonica, right, Greece. It says, um, which are Israelites, I was living there. It says, and now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So through the spirit, the mouth of the, uh, of the Lord, which are his prophets, are revealing who the wicked is and his agenda. All right. So you come go to this video, you know, you're being warned, man. Do not get down with this shit. Let's read on. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. He's going to be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. So Edom, I, um, I, I do me, you know, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophets, the holy prophets, Luke 1 and verse 70, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. We make a second coming, his return. Even him whose coming is after the working of sin, and that's Esau, you know, his working is after the working of Shatan, okay, the, the adversary. It says, with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. All type of signs and lying wonders, man. His left hand miracles. It says, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So Israelites that didn't want to receive this truth, they're going to die. They're going to get deceived by this devil, man. All right. And for this cause, the heavenly father shall call, so send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. So you have pleasure in unrighteousness, you're going to die. You want to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season and get down with the karagma of the beast, you're going to get put to death at the end of the day. Now let's get those precepts. You know, I'm low willing the video stays up. You know, I'm just reading out the scriptures. <laughs> you know, that's all this, this, this country is, you know, there's is no freedom of speech. None of this BS they, they lie in city have, that people have. 
Revelation 13 and verse 11. And, and I beheld another beast coming from out of the earth. We're going to America. He had two horns like a lamb. The two horns of two political parties. Because you had back then the Romans, you had the patricians, the plebeians, okay, which came back in the reincarnation, you know, so you know, so to speak, basically, as Republicans and the Democrats, right? And like a lamb, a lamb is meek, lowly, and humble. So they come across that they have your best interests at heart, but deep down, let's read on, and he spake as a dragon. The word dragon right there goes to Draco, which they get the draconian laws of unrighteous decrees from. All right? It says, he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, right, which is the Roman Empire. This is Rome all over again. It causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, all right, which is the, you know, the Roman Empire, whose deadly wound was healed during the Renaissance. That's when he got healed. That's when he came back into power. Idumia, the Edomites, the so called white man. It says, and he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth and inside of men, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, all right? And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, the Roman Empire, being revised, ultimately the New World Order agenda and this beast system, right? Which had the wound by, which had the wound by the by sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So he has in his hands to give life, you know, bring this to fruition, this system. Okay. Because, you know, the earth has been given to the hand of the wicked. All right. So image of beast is the Roman Empire, which owes me to the, the, um, being revised, of course, owes me the new world order agenda they have set up. It says that the image of the beast should both speak. And I was speaking right before our very eyes, man. They're getting ready to fully implement this thing. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Nebuchadnezzar did the same thing. He had an actual image set up. If you don't get down with it, he'll catch the burning fiery furnace. All right. Which that's all, you know, that actually happened. But you think spiritually, man, Esau Edom doing the same thing today. If you don't want to worship this image, you can get put to death, man. You know, whether you literally get put to death, what he just, you know, um, I'll catch you from society, man. All right. It says, and he calls if all the word there for cause is poeo, which means to make ready to fashion, to prepare. All right, he did that with the Vanessa, also with the Mass. He's been doing it for, you know, a while now. And he, the Esau Edom, the, the elites, the top banking families, okay? Um, cause of all, right? Which is ultimately the beast system, right? Because they control the beast system, right? They cause it to, to, they give life to it, right? It says, and he cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, no matter who you are, what, what uh, uh, societal class you're in, whether you're... Um, low class poor rich it don't matter small great free you know or in prison it don't matter to receive a mark the word there for mark is karagma which goes to a, a, an imprinted stamp now as a matter of fact when you go to the root words of that word there for mark i'm just breaking down the scriptures so you saw you know he can't handle the truth that's that's another thing too man all right but it's so good we're gonna keep bringing it out Karagma, right? It says a stamp and a printed mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand of a badge of service of the of a badge of the followers of the anti mashiach The scripture going to as many anti mashiachs many ag against the anointed, against our Lord and our Savior. I say something called Christmas is a massacre of the anointed, okay? Which is ultimately going to the elites, okay? They're all against the Heavenly Father, they're all against Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. It says the mark branded upon horses. Now, horses don't get spiritual marks branded upon them. It's all physical. Okay? Thing carved. Something that's going to carve into you. All right? And they, you look at look up brain CHIP. Okay? And see how it get up in your brain, man. Okay? They, they carve into your scalp and place it on your brain in a certain angle where it connects to your nerves, man. You're able to do things with your mind that, uh, that you know, do, with technology, people would have thought, man. Okay? So that they carve into your, your, your fucking scalp. All right, carve into your fucking skull and also into your hand. It says sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. So, right, idolatrous images, man. It's all idolatry. All right, now, so it's, and also when you be down, it says as a badge of servitude. All right, you take that, then you serve your servant to Esau Edom forever. Okay, that's basically what you're saying, but guess what? Esau Edom King not gonna last forever. So, you're getting got because you, you, you're gonna get ice and Esau gonna get ice at the same time. Now, let's go to the root word. The root word of karagma is karax. Now it says a pale or stake or um, palisade, a palisade or rampart. Okay, it says um pales between which earth, stones, trees, timbers are heaped and packed together, trench. Okay, now um I went into this a while back, which I'm gonna just look something up very quick. All right, a lot of, like I said earlier through the spirit of Papi Abashim Al Shai, started with the elders and apostles on down. Brothers went into this plenty, plenty, 
of times, man. But we're going to keep bringing it out because this is our job as prophets, as men of the Lord, to warn the sheep and continue feeding the elect. All right. So I took these notes um, a while back. All right. I remember the brother Bacquire Moth, he was going into this, breaking it down. And I was taking notes, you know what I'm saying? Because he went, you know, a little further into it as well. Because we got the beast, which is the Roman Empire, which also NATO, the EU, which is Esau Edom. The image is a system, political system, democracy, medical field, president, Caesars, you know, because back then he had Caesars, right? The Senate, was they had that back then in Rome as well. Bread and circus, the language was Latin, which is in the back of the dollar bill. Anuk Coeptis, which is Latin for God, favors undertaken. You got Novus Ordo Seculum, which means new order of the ages, all right? What else was in Latin? I was bringing it out yesterday. Uh, it was something else in Latin, man. Oh, Balenciaga. All these different companies, too. It's all just demonic. But it says, so the mark is going to the CHIP. The actual, you know, thing. Right? So more notes I took through the spirit. Now, when you go into calls, I've already broke that down. It's poeo, which means to make, ready, prepare, or fashion. All right? All individually to universally or collectively. Mark is the the karagma. So the first one I broke down was karagma. Itching, beneath, service, incision. So they're actually going to put that inside. It was the CHIP. The word for karagma is karaks, which is a pale steak instrument of cutting, which that's the what? That's the um, syringe that so they're going to put it in, they're going to use it to put it inside your body. Then you got the root word of karaks, which is what? Grapho, which is the data. All the all your data, your your, your background, your um, medical, what else? Your 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 credit, you know, um, your credit score system, all this stuff, your keys, your wallet, uh, identification, that's the data. Your data will be in, well, Lord, Lord willing, not you, brothers listening, of course, because we ain't getting down with this shit. But um, people, people's data will be inside the CHIP. And it says cause, let's read on back to Revelation 13 chapter. All right, so I broke that down, the root words very quick. So it says uh, 13 and 16, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bonds, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now the word there for the right hand, the word there for right hand is what? The exos means right hand. Foreheads means metapon. All right, that's a Greek word, metapon, which means space between eyes. So that's what you get the met. That's why white. So coincidentally, in 2022, I don't know if it started 2021 or 2022 when Mark Zuckerberg and all of them started, you know, changing Facebook, Instagram to meta, everything meta. All right, which meta means to change or morphosize, like metamorph and all of that. So they're trying to change people, man. Okay, all of this is a part of the transhumanism, so on and so forth. You know, arguing reality, you know what I'm saying? You owe nothing to be happy. All of this is a part of it. Metapon in your forehead, metaverse. Okay, where you put on a virtual reality and you're just in a whole nother realm. They want that actually inside of your brain. They show that in a black mirror, different TV shows as well. All right. I don't even got to go further into that. Metapon, you know, that's going to the metaverse. Right. The the the, the brain chip. See, Alan Musk is fulfilling his role, you know, as a wicked ass devil eater might control the position he is. All right. It says, um, and that no man might buy or sell. You cannot buy or sell. You cannot buy anything because it can be currency. You can't sell anything, have any benefits because this is currency. All right, say if he'd have had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, because once you take the crime of the beast, you're um, you that's the badge of servitude to the to the name of the beast to the number of his name, which that's inside of it as well. The 600 three score and six. Read it here is wisdom to him to have understanding count the number of the beast for his number of a man, and his number three hundred is 600 three score and six. Kai Stai stigma. Okay, so that's we're in that time right now, man. So all of this, all these things are being fulfilled. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see something real quick. Salakia. There's another one I was looking up. All right. But that was the that was the main point I wanted to bring out through the spirit, man. Oh, I'm gonna give release to the 14 chapter next. End it off with that. For those that take it, you take this thing, you're finished, man. For real. You know, all jokes aside, man. You take the karagma, man. It's, it's over. There's no repentance for taking the karagma of the beast, man. All right. Little video can stay up because you know. Brothers touching this topic now, they have a habit of taking it down. All right, let me see something real quick. Uh, just want to click and click this one. All right, yeah, so I'll give Revelation 14 chapter. All right, end it off. Revelation 14 and verse 9 it says, And the third angel followed them with a loud voice, saying, With a sorry, let's verse 8. And they followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen. It was America, Babylon, the great, right? Babylon is fallen, it's fallen in that great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Heavenly Father, 
which is poured out without mention to the cup of his indignation, and shall be tormented with fire and primitive of the ICBM nuclear missile, second death, right? In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. All right. And the smoke of their torment ascended up and up. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, whosoever, and whosoever received the mark of his name. You're going to die a slow, painful death, man, in that fire. Here is the patience of the saints. Here, here are they that keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the faith of Yahweh Shemashiach, man. So if you get down with that, that's it. So in these last days, we got to stay prayed up, you know, that we give diligence and endure to a lot of ending, because it's the hour of temptation. So I'm ended with that scripture, as a matter of fact. Revelation 3 and 11, it says, um, verse 3 and 10, Salaki, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation going to the elect. So that's why, we, we, you know, we preach repentance, man. It's time to get right and return back to your house, or you're going to die in these last days if you get down with this system and take the karagma, man. It says, I also would keep you from our temptation. The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son, Yahweh Shai, will deliver you. All right? He will, he, will, he will preserve you from these sad perils. If you're wrong, we shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The word try, we want to test one's faith. Whose side you want? Who you going to serve? Who's your God? Okay, is it the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, was Aisha, Esau, saying in Esau? Okay? Behold, I come quickly. Hold thy fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So we have the victory. We have the crown already, man. That's also in Revelation the 15th chapter, which I ended up with that. Revelation 15 verse 2. And I saw as where a sea of glass men will fight a second death, the fire. And a sea of glass is the firmament. You got the elect and the chariots looking down on this destruction. And then they had gotten a victory. So St. John, St. John Revelator already saw those that got the victory. Meaning what? It's going to happen. All right. We just playing out our roles and, and, you know, and our lots in this beautiful movie, man. And Lord willing, we're part of this number right here that got the victory. So the elect already got the victory. All right. It's already reigned. Hold that fast so no man can take your crown because you have the crown. Let's read on. And then that had gotten the victory over the beast or, and over his image and over his already broke all of that down, over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the heavenly father. They got delivered and they made it to the, to, um, to the kingdom of heaven. All right. Which is already starting with the nuts and it's going to play out physically upon this earth. So I pray you edified through the spirit of Pavia Bashem Shai. I want to give calling Lime La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Dash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, say Shalom. While Baba Ball, Shalom. We're going to stay on our watch and see what happens six months from now. So, Shalom.